cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the movie called, The Legend of Muay Thai. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins with a story that talks about a kingdom called the Ramba. The people look up to a magical sutra stone and its guardian is their protector. But suddenly a powerful demon called Dihayaksa attacks the kingdom and goes on a battle with the defending warriors. The demon defeated them all and takes the magical stone away from them. In the present day a fortune teller is captured and is brought to the demons and monsters, so he can reveal the future to them. The fortune teller prophesies to them that a boy will soon be born in their kingdom, who will defeat them all by using the magical sutra stone, setting all the people free. Dihayaksa their leader couldn't take it anymore, and smashes the old man's head to death. Few days later, a man called Pawn is seen running in the bush with few monsters chasing after him. It is revealed that he has a small child. And he also has the powerful magical stone which he stole back from Dihayaksa. Pan's friends also comes to assist him from the monsters, but other monsters comes from behind and kills them all. A special warrior of Dihayaksa called Jager hacks him but Pan defends himself and other to protect the stone at all cost. While fighting they reach the bridge and as the bridge ropes cuts off, it causes Pawn and his son to fall into the rivers, making the monster to lose trace of them. An old man sees Pawn who is already unconscious, and his baby in his arms, and decides to take them away. Many years later, the little boy is all grown up, and is given a name called Ot. He lives in a small hidden island called Nok, where the monsters won't be able to find them. He sells herbs for survival, so he can use the money to help out his father Pawn, who is now old and crippled. Pawn wants Ot to train consistently with the old man, who is a legendary Muay Thai master. But he doesn't take it seriously because he sees no purpose of doing that. Later that night, Ot had a nightmare of monsters, who came to their village and annihilated everyone. Pawn is aware of his everyday nightmare, and decides to tell him the purpose of his everyday trainings. He shows Ot the magic Satra stone, and tells him the story and how the monsters defeated the humans and tried to conquer the world. But fortunately the Satra stone was an obstacle for the monsters to do that and as they tired to destroy it, Pawn was able to retrieve the stone in time and escapes. He tells Ot that he is now old and weak and very soon, it will be his responsibility to free the people from the monsters, using the Satra magical stone, but for now he really needs to train harder to be worthy for that responsibility. The next day, Ot is very early for training than usual, which really impresses his Muay Thai master and his father. Ot receives special trainings from his master every morning, and after a long training and lessons from his master, Ot began to adapt and started to master the skills of Muay Thai. Becoming a full Muay Thai disciple, a tattoo is drawn on his back and after a few years on intensive trainings, Ot is finally able to master the Muay Thai skills, making his master really proud of him. Later that night, a friend of Pond visits him to discuss about the mission on defeating the monster. But unfortunately, Pan is old and crippled and won't be able to involve himself in the fight anymore. The man suggests to let Ot join them on the mission on fighting the monsters, but he refuses. Believing that Ot is still not ready for the mission. The man asks for the magical Satra stone so he can go in place of Ot, but Pan refuses his request. Ot, who hears everything they said, is so furious that his father still won't send him on the mission he has spent his whole life training for. Ot later sees his dad's friend putting up a flare, which signals the monsters to their village. It turns out the man is working for the monsters. There is a battle between them, and Ot hurries back to the house to save his father, who is about to be killed by a monster. Ot arrives in time, and uses the Muay Thai skills to punch the monster at its weak areas and defeated it. The monsters surrounded the three of them. And Pan is so furious that his friend betrayed him and sided with the monsters. There is a battle between them but Ot, his master, and his dad ends up winning the fight. As Pan is about to kill the friend that betrayed him, he is stopped by a powerful monster called, Jager. The right-hand man of the monster leader, Dihayaksa. As the Muay Thai master is fighting off Jager, Pan gives his son the magical Sutra Stone, telling him to escape. Although he is hesitant, his father tells him that he is the only hope in restoring peace to the land, Ot then manages to escape. The monster chases after him. But they lost trace of him immediately he jumps into the river. His father and his master are killed, the village is burnt down, and the people are taken into captive. Ot is outraged after seeing his village burnt to the ground, and throws the stone away in anger. But after he remembers his father's last words of the world depending on him, he picks up the stone shaves his hair, and swore revenge on the monsters for annihilating his village. A port city is shown, where Ot goes around asking the villagers on where he can find a land called, Ram of Nikorn. But anyone that hears the word from him becomes afraid, telling him not to mention it again. 
Odd notices someone following him and as he checks his bag, he sees the magic stone sutra has been replaced with a fish. He sees the monkey that stole the stone and chases after it. But a red monster grabs the monkey and runs so swiftly into a flying ship. Ott follows the monster and is also able to make it inside the ship. He enters the ship and finds a girl imprisoned there by the monsters. He sneaks around only to hear the red monster and the monkey fighting. He goes in and defends to monkey because he thinks the monster is bullying the monkey. Until the monkey reveals to him that they are both friends, that they were just fighting for food. Suddenly the pirate monsters apprehended them. And the three of them goes on a battle with the pirates. During the fight, a girl that was imprisoned earlier by the pirates had managed to free herself and blows a whistle which summons another ship containing her men. It turns out that it was her plan to surrender herself to the pirates, so she can rescue her people who are captured in the ship. She frees all her people but unfortunately, the pirates releases a gigantic monster who attacks them. Everyone including Ott, the red monster, and the monkey escapes from the ship. But as Ott sees the pretty girl left alone to fight monster, he goes back to the ship to assist her. The monster beats life out of him and as it's about to kill him, Ott unconsciously summons the magic sutra stone from the monkey's possession, and with a punch, he killed the gigantic monster. Ott faints from the excess power, and the girl takes him inside her ship, locking him up only with his friends. Here it gets to know them better as the monkey reveals himself to be a prince of the monkey kingdom. But Dehyaxa destroyed his kingdom and he wants revenge. While the red monster reveals his name as Red Asura, and tells Ott that he was a general of the monster kingdom, but because it fell in love with a human girl, they striped off his rank and banishes him. Now he wants to free the girl who has been held prisoner. He explains to Ott more about the magical sutra stone. For someone to make use of its power, he must possess the nine virtues which is bravery, sacrifice, skills, kindness, strength, protection, focus, concentration, and faith. He believes Ott was able to use the magical sutra stone because he possess all those virtues. It is shown that the girl was listening to them, who later comes in introducing herself as Lan. She hands over the stone back to Ott, and tells them to unite with her. Because she also has a brother who is held captive by Dehyaxa. On the other hand, Dehyaxa has the royal prince captive. With the other men who he plans to use for sacrifice so he can gain unlimited powers. Jaeger later attacks their ship and makes them to crash. He attacks Ott and beats him mercilessly, and as he is about to kill him, Ott angrily summons the magic stone sutra to his body. And pounces on Jaeger in anger. After few punches, he managed to defeat Jaeger with one final kick. Ott spears his life, realizing he will be wrong if kills Jaeger. Instead, he helps the injured monster up, telling him to start a new life. Jaeger out of sympathy gives Ott the secrets about Dihyaxa whereabouts, who will be sacrificing the royal prince in three days. They find the Dihyaxa underground prison, and disguises themselves as prisoners to enter. But as the man who betrayed Ott's father and villagers recognizes Ott, he couldn't hold his anger anymore and fights him while the others goes on a battle with the monsters. Ott hurries to save the prince and hands over the stone to the prince, only to find out that it is Dehyaxa disguised as him. They realize that they all got themselves into a trap when all the prisoners there started transforming back to monsters. And the worst of all is that the Red Asura was the younger brother of Dehyaxa. And they are both working together. Ott, Lan, and the monkey are captured, and Dehyaxa puts the magical sutra stone in burning flames so that he can destroy it. Dihyaxa summons his younger brother, Red Asura, and wants to be sure whose side he's on. He brings out Red Asura imprisoned lover and commands him to kill his friends, or he will take her life. Red Asura couldn't kill them, and Dihyaxa is outranged and kills the love of his life. Outranged, Red Asura renounces Dihyaxa as his brother after what he did, and goes to fight him. Although Red Asura is a skillful fighter, he was no match for Dihyaxa. During the fight, Jaeger comes in and frees Ott. As Dehyaxa is about to kill Jaeger for betraying him, Ott is able to retrieve the magic sutra stone and attacks him. Ott is killed by Dehyaxa without even getting to fight. The magical sutra stone breaks into pieces. A follower of Dehyaxa enters and sees the stars shining really bright, and remembers the prophecy. Suddenly the pieces of the magical sutra stone started to shine, and elevates Ott's body to the air. Everyone discovers that Ott is the boy from the prophecy, who is destined to kill Dehyaxa and restore peace back to the land. He is brought back to life, with his body glowing like a god, and attacks the undefeatable Dehyaxa with full force. Ott defends Dehyaxa blows, which is something no one in their land has ever done before. And finally gives Dehyaxa a blow for the first time. Dehyaxa is afraid and summons his fire baton powers and attacks Ott with all the powers in him. But Ott uses the sutra to destroy his weapon, 
and uses the skills of the Muay Thai to punch Dihayaksa in his weak areas and defeated him. Dihayaksa unable to accept defeat, transforms himself into a gigantic monster and as they fight, Ot uses all his trainings from when he was young, and uses all powers from the Sutra Stone to destroy Dihayaksa to pieces. Finally, his people are set free, and peace is brought back to the land. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel. And keep watching. Bye.